Hi everyone, I'm Coach Ali and this is Assistant Coach Steph. Welcome to our Gains Home Dumbbell Workout Series designed to muscle you up and transform your body using only your dumbbells. Train along with us in the comfort of your own home and let's have you looking fabulous using simple, high value, low risk exercises suitable for all levels of fitness. For me personally, this series is particularly special because it marks 27 years of teaching strength and conditioning focusing on transforming bodies. Today's Gains Home Dumbbell Workout will focus on your back, mainly your lats and rhomboids in your upper to middle back, plus your erectors in your lower back. We'll also train your biceps since they work as the secondary muscles during your back workout. In this series, your strength exercises will include three sets of 12 repetitions. Make sure that your dumbbells are heavy enough so that the last couple of repetitions in each set are difficult to finish. If you complete your sets with ease, then make sure to select heavier dumbbells. Be sure to train to every workout in our GAINS Dumbbell Workout Series in the order we release them so that your workouts are aesthetic and effective. If you're looking to get lean and shredded, then simply add 15 to 20 minutes of mild cardio to the end of today's workout. If you have any questions about the program, then simply comment below and ask us. Before we get started, I wanted to give a big shout out to our channel members whose contribution enables us to produce workouts for everybody on YouTube. If you're interested in becoming a channel member and progressing past the first 10 workouts in this series, then be sure to hit the blue join icon and let us take your body transformation to the next level. If you're new to the channel, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you can stay accountable and on track. Now that's enough talking from us. Let's get started with our Gains Home Dumbbell Workout Series. Let's go. This exercise is a bent over dumbbell row. You can use your heavy dumbbells for this one guys. Make sure you've got a really solid base in that bent over position with your back nice and flat. And then lift those dumbbells from your shin all the way to your ribs. Release slow and try to maintain the vertical movement. Try not to bob up and down with your torso. Try to maintain your posture all the way throughout the set. So you're exhaling as you're lifting those dumbbells and you're inhaling as you're releasing.
This exercise is a bent over T row. Start with a really solid base, feet at shoulder width, your knees are bent, you're leaning forward with a nice flat back and you're looking marginally in front of you. Lift those dumbbells up until you've got a straight line from elbow to elbow, keeping those arms nice and wide and then drop down until your dumbbells meet in front of your shin. Exhale as you lift and inhale as you release. This exercise is a bent over dumbbell reverse fly. Start in that bent over position, making sure that your back is nice and flat. Make sure you're nice and solid on your thighs. Your knees must be bent and your feet should allow for a really sturdy base. Then open up and lift up adjacent to your body. Make sure that you keep your elbows soft straight throughout the whole exercise and focus on the rotation at your shoulders.
This exercise is a renegade row. You can see we're in that prone push-up position and then we're working our rows one side at a time for an entire set. Now, I'm doing it the traditional way on my toes, but you can see Steph's doing it on her knees. So if you have a difficult time holding that plank position, given that all of your weight is held up with one arm and two legs, then you can always do it the way Steph's doing it and really focus on those rows rather than the core strength that it takes to hold you in place.
This is an advanced alternate biceps curl. So you can see we're starting in that high isometric position and then we're curling nice and steady one arm at a time. These are traditional curls, so you're getting your arms into that neutral position at the bottom and then making sure you're getting that 90 degree turn at the top and really hitting the peak of the biceps. This is a fantastic time under tension method of working bicep curls. Try to keep your elbows as static as you can keep them and make sure that there's no movement in the torso. This exercise is a dumbbell biceps lift. The dumbbells start by our sides, outside of your thigh, and they move up vertically alongside your ribs. Push your elbows back and take those dumbbells up as high as they'll go. Then return them following that same vertical line. Make sure your knees are marginally bent and your hips are nice and static. Go for maximum range of motion throughout this exercise. And make sure that there's no manipulation of the wrists. Try and keep those nice and straight as well.
is the supported biceps curl and we're doing it one side at a time. My elbow is locked into the nook of my wrist and holding that position is preventing my elbow from bouncing around and moving. So this will make it really easy to try to isolate your biceps. Make sure that you're getting full range of movement and make sure you're releasing nice and slow. Focus on keeping your hips still because it's very easy to push forward with your hips and assist your movement, but we wanna make sure that we're not doing that.
is a biceps hammer curl. Now, one thing you'll note is that I'm starting the exercise with the dumbbell in front of my thigh. A lot of people will do this from beside them and it'll build up a lot of momentum before you actually get into the hammer curl. By cutting that out, we're focusing purely on the muscular movement and it's going to give you a much better workout for your lateral biceps. Make sure that the elbows remain nice and static and make sure that you're not moving your hips either. This exercise is a bent over front press. Get into that bent over position with a flat back, making sure that you've got a sturdy solid base, and then start with the dumbbell at your chest. Now you're pushing forward in a horizontal line. Doing your front raise in this position not only hits your shoulders, but it really hits your traps, your rhomboids, and the upper part of your back as well. Try to keep your upper body as horizontal as you can. Where people go wrong with this exercise is they start to get upright as they get tired. Let's try to avoid that.
Well done for finishing your dumbbell workout at home and progressing through our GAINS Home Dumbbell Workout Series. If you enjoyed your workout with us, then please give us a thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss the next workout in this series. If you're done working out, then you should move on to post-workout stretching and cool down with our physio Daphne. There's a link of her stretching playlist at the end of this video, so be sure to check it out. As always, thank you for training with Coach Ellie and I. We look forward to bringing you another Games Home Dumbbell workout shortly. Take care of yourselves and each other.